we have seen that it is not so difficult to compute the components of a vector in a different basis. We just need to use our orthogonal tensor Q appropriately. For the conversion of tensors, we can use the same idea. We can use our orthogonal Q to compute the components of a tensor in a new basis, if we know the components in an old basis. In this video, we'll see how this is done, so let us take a look. So, again, we have our old basis and our new basis. And then you know, if you have a tensor T, you can find its components, T i j, by computing T e j, and then taking the inner product with E i. So, how do we find our components, the numbers in our prime basis, if we have them in their, our normal basis? What do we use? Now, first of all, of course, uh, the general rule, how to find the Tij and the Tij prime using our basis factors. And second of all, we need uh, to know how we convert our basis factors. So we have our Ei prime, it's always Qmi Em. So we can do the same trick for Ej prime. Ej prime is then Qnj En. And I rather use a different summation index because we will need them both later on. And this allows us to compute uh, our Tij prime using this formula over here. So we have an Ei prime. For that we have a Qmi Em in our product with T and then an Ej prime for which we have Qnj En. Now remember the Qmi and Qnj, they are just numbers, so you can take them in front. That's what we do over here. And we are left with Em in our product with Ten. But Em in our product Ten, that's using this rule, just the TMN. So what it says over here is Tij prime, so the components in the prime basis, it's just QMI, QNJ, TMN, the components in the old basis. And you can write this as a matrix equation. If you put the QMJ here la last, then you see that we have there TMN, Q, QNJ, which is the in matrix language T times Q. And then we are left with a QMI here. Uh, the M is on the wrong side, uh, because we, uh, we have QMI and TMN, so we have to take the transpose in order to get QMI, TMN. So we need a Q transpose here times T times Q. So the matrix of T in the prime basis is given by matrix of Q transpose times matrix of T times matrix of Q. So that is how you can compute your new components. So that's again a small example. So we'll start with the some basis E1, E2, E3, usually standard basis. We take some new basis over here. And we take some tensor. So in this case, uh, I took the this tensor over here which with some, some numbers. Now, first of all, we have to compute our Q. So the columns of Q are E1 prime, E2 prime, and E3 prime in the old basis. So uh, for the second column, for example, we have E2 prime equals minus E1. So we get a minus 1 E1 plus 0 times E2 plus 0 times E3. That's the, this column over there. And the other columns follow similarly. And then here we have our equation to compute our prime matrix. So here we go. We have a Q transpose, T matrix, and a Q matrix. And then uh, first we took the uh, first matrix product with the row column rule. So first row, first column gives you a 1, and then a second row first column gives you a zero and then again a zero so th that's how you get the first column you do the other tra others, others similarly and you leave this matrix where it is and then you compute the second product again say first uh, first row uh, first column gives you one times zero plus two times one plus zero times zero gives you this number two and then you go on with all the other elements so that's how you compute your uh, matrix uh, of t in the prime basis, so it's just a, a multiplication of a few matrices. So uh, let's go on to a second example. We can even show that now that the traces are the same, so we want to show that tii equals tjj prime, so the trace of t in the one base and the other base are just the same numbers. So uh, we know uh, tij prime, uh, uh, in general we know from here, equals QMI, QMJ, TMN. So TJJ prime, then we have to set I equals to J over here. And we keep the TMN. 
Now QMN, Q and J, because you have an orthogonal matrix equals delta MN. So there we go. So this equals, if you perform the sum over, the N at TMM. And then you can use, of course, another name for the summation index. So it's equal to 2TII. So here you see that if you transform your tensor, uh, the numbers, of course, are different. You can see that. Here we have these numbers. Here we have other numbers. However, the traces in the first basis, 0 plus 2 plus 1 equals 3. And in the other basis, 2 plus 0 plus 1 is also equal to 3. So the traces are always the same.